Reverend Dr. Dearson Sir and his Guru Shishtha Fellowship members welcome you for this Sunday evening community worship service. Now our friends will lead us into the worship through the Tamil Bhajan, Saranagadi, Saranagadi, Esnin Padame Saranagadi. Meanwhile, I request our dear Chaplain Reverend Dr. Edwin Jabarasa, Ma'am Nimyo, Sister Jay Seeley, Sister Maria Angel in Shoba, Mohan Uncle, uh, come forward to the lightning the lamp. <laughs> It's time to worship. We thank God for providing beyond our expectations. It's time to worship. To praise God for the privilege of gathering with songs in our hearts. It's time to worship. We seek honor God to our responses and our offerings today. Let's continue to pray. 
Dear parent God, we gather before you with thankful hearts. It is your grace and mercy which enables us to gather together in fellowship as a community. We ask your wisdom, knowledge, and presence to be with us throughout this worship service. Lord, open our minds and heart to your word. Guide our thoughts and actions so that we may bring glory to your name. We pray for your blessings upon each person here. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. <laughs> Merciful God, you have called us to gather this place. You have called us to become the best version of ourselves to your guidance and love. We thanks to you. Oh, Lord. You have bestowed on, on us by your grace the gift of salvation from a deep well of gratitude. Help us to live out your great and gracious deeds. We thanks to you. In response to our sin and your salvation, strengthened by the Holy Spirit and rooted in the Christ love, we help us to strive daily the best version of ourselves, serve you and grief. Help us to unity and build up by the May our worship today 
inspire us to grow in the grow into the fullness of Christ, reflecting your love and uh, grace in all that we do through Christ our Lord who lives and uh, reigns us with you and the uh, Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Please be seated. Let us all pronounce and confess our sin. Let us pray together. We come before you today with humble hearts, acknowledging our imperfections and shortcomings in our journey towards becoming the best version of ourselves. We often stumble and fall short of your glory. Forgive us, Lord, for the time we have let fear hold us back for the moments when we have not lived up to our persuasions, and for the ways we have neglected to love others as you love us. Grant us the courage to confront our weaknesses and the wisdom to learn and grow from our mistakes. Help us to embrace the transformation you desire for us as we strive to reflect your image more fully each day. Renew our spirits, O God, and fill us with your grace and strength. May our lives be a testament to your love and mercy. As we seek to live out the purpose you have for each of us, in Jesus' name we pray. May the God of Almighty forgive us for all our sins, release us from guilt, and restore us to the joy of God's redemption through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Now time is given for a special song.
The scripture portion has been taken from the letter of Paul to the Philippians, chapter 3, verses 12 to 16. Chapter 3, verses 12 to 16. Not that I have already obtained this or have already reached the goal, but I press on to make it my own because Christ Jesus has made me his own. Beloved, I do not consider that I have made it my own, but this one thing I do, forgetting what lies behind and straining forward to what lies ahead. I press on towards the goal for the prize of the heavenly call of God in Christ Jesus. Let those of us then who are mature be of the same mind. And if you think differently about anything, this too God will reveal to you. Only let us hold fast to what we have attained. Here ends the reading. Praise be to God. Once again, on behalf of my Guru Shishya group, I greet you all in the blessed name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Respected Principal Chaplain, my colleagues, dear student friends, we welcome you once again to our Sunday evening fellowship. From the beginning of the bhajan, the message that is continuing, I also would like to share a short reflection from the text that we have heard just now. That is Philippians 3, 12 to 16. Let's look to God and pray. Loving Lord, here we are standing in your presence. Help us to understand your word. Teach your servant that we all may have a blessed time. In Jesus' name, amen. We, as a Christian, we are privileged enough. We are fearfully and wonderfully created. And we are created by God that we all accept. And above that, we are given so many beautiful things, many wonderful things that we are given to practice and exercise. All those beautiful things that God has given to us are to beautify his creation. All those are to serve people around us and to glorify the creator. What a wonderful human being we are. God has installed many features in us. Now we only need to run those features in our system. Unless we command them to run, those beautiful things, those beautiful gifts will remain as it is and then it will perish. This gifted hidden features or talents, I should say, once we access, then there we will experience and then people will see us the exact image of who we are. So inside us, there is an image that we fail to reveal, that we fail to show to the world who we are exactly. And that inside us is the image, the real image we are bearing and we are possessing now and then. The image that bears God, that is the best version of us. That is what God has given to us. But these best versions, sometimes, of course, we exist, but we fail to realize this version, that best version. So 
Sometimes we fail to misuse this best version. Those talents, we fail to misuse sometimes. And at the same time, we are not using. Now, from the text that we have read out, I would like to share in a brief what that best version that is in us. So that that person, that best version, with that best version, we can represent to the world with bearing with the image of God that we have. This man, so-called Saul, now we call Paul, the avid and jealous fellow who has been devouringly persecuting many good Christians. Now, the same fervency he's carrying with the same attitude, but on the new direction, that is from the opposite direction, which after when Jesus confronts him on the road to Damascus, who is now become one of Christ's greatest apostles. This fellow has something that something that is important now at this moment to tell us. After having expressed to the Philippines his all-consuming desire to know Christ, Paul brought it now to disclaim that he has reached the goal. That means he hasn't reached that goal, what he is desiring for. His intensity might be very, very deep. His desire to see Christ, his longing to see Christ and craft the significance of who Christ is. Or Christ, the one who confronts him on the road to Damascus. Paul always longs to craft who this Christ is and the perfect knowledge of Christ. He emphatically refuses to place himself among any who might claim such perfection. But this falling short of a complete knowledge of Christ that he always longs for, which never hinders his search for the perfect knowledge. Rather, it strengthens him. It causes him to set out like, uh, or to set out on a course. Like he uses the metaphor about the uh, runner in a race. He uses that metaphor, runner in a race, to see whether he might indeed fully comprehend that he always struggling on the meaning of this majestic person called Jesus. He is, that's why, prompted on in his endeavor, not only because he is known by Christ, but he also was forcefully taken hold of by Christ and then saved from his ruining life. And then he set off in a new direction of useful service to God and people. So we are constantly demanded this stirring call to endeavor such attitudes to get the, or to apprehend the perfect knowledge of Christ in order to capture or apprehend the perfect knowledge of Christ first. This fellow gold ball wants us to strive forward. That is, though he disclaims having achieved perfect knowledge of Christ, after careful evaluation of his, his life's journey or his successful life's journey as Christ, one of the greatest apostles, he also reaffirms the one course of action. That is, the past life or the past failure that we might have, or the successes that we might have, those things should be forgotten completely in order that you can perceive and understand the complete knowledge of who Christ is. 
Because if we keep on uh, realizing, not forgetting the past, then those failures may be a hindering or blockage way to what you are searching for, or it may paralyze your journey towards for perfection or the successes that you have in your life in the past that may embed with pride while we stretch on towards for the future to get that perfect knowledge of Christ. Like, a, as Paul said, like an athlete with every nerve and every muscle that stretch. Just imagine the picture, Paul trying to capture or apprehend the perfect knowledge of Christ. He gives everything, all his strength, energy, muscle, like with trust, uh, body forward to reach out to the goal marker that he uses the phrase. All his ceaseless exertion, we can able to understand we can able to see the intensity of his desire to reach until the end of his life. And then he is longing to gain that prize. So for us also, every part of our existence is or should be wholly into the con <clears throat> contest to win the prize. Like just as the victor in the Olympiad, Olympian Games, those winners are called upon on the judges stand and receive the crown at the hands of the church. So Paul is so hopeful and expecting the goal that he also will receive that prize once he completes the race. Secondly, we are told that in order to reach that goal, strive for the best. Paul urges all of us that we should strive forward for the best. That is, we are always lacking. We are always under the control of this worldly life. And we always fail to realize the talent, the best that God has given to us. So we Christians, in order to reach to the perfection, we should always consist in striving for that perfection. What Paul is uh, giving warning or to us is that he fears that the phrase perfect will cease our moral striving or sometimes falsely believing that we have achieved the goal. Whereas what we should realize is the goal that we are aiming for will reach only after once we, once we reach at the end of our life. So the, consequently, the mark of the perfect person is not to estimate oneself perfect, but we should humble and realize that there's still a long way to go, to strive, and much good still to do. Here, in this chapter as a whole, part of the problem Paul addresses is there will be certain uh, opponents always when we strive for perfection. There will be always confrontations when we strive towards the goal in our life journey in order to attain this. But we're always called to be perfect. We're always called to be the best version of you. This also is echoed in both the Old Testament and New Testament. And it is always said that it is possible even in our lifetime here on earth. Even we can experience this on earth. Yet most of us uh, would run away before we experience that 
due to the journey of life on this earth. And then the term that uh, here Paul uses, perfect, which is distinctly uh, expressed every day in our speech. That is, we, we, in the scripture, we usually use not perfect, that is major or well-rounded or complete. In that way, we use, because uh, it is said that we are not perfect. We cannot be perfect while on this earth. That's why be measured day by day and at the end of our life, the prize will be received as a perfect servant. So we should confess that perfection is a goal to be striving for. We are on the road to full salvation that awaits the resurrection. We are to strive for the best God has for us. Paul exhorts us to remember that to be apprehended by God does not put our will out of action, but rather raises it to its highest power, that as the power of Christ will grow, the effort of our will also does not decrease, but grows accordingly. Perhaps, uh, perhaps we have heard the encouragement or been given the challenge to be the best version of ourselves, and we're still not quite sure what that looks like. God wants us to be the best version of us. That is like Jesus. That is what God is always telling us. Or in other words, does God want you to be the best version of yourself? No. God wants us to be the version of God himself. He wants us to be like Jesus Christ. Any better or improved version of us still has too much of us in the equation even now also on our journey. But as we focus on who God is and how God can mold us into the image of Christ, we can allow God to transform us into God's idea of the best version of us. One who is more like Christ, that is. One who is perfect, and complete, lacking in nothing, doing our best, not we are the best, for we are the representatives of Christ Jesus to the world. We are going to represent only after when we possess the best person and witness to the world and testify to the, to the world. Let us all represent with the best version of us. Amen. Now I request Brother Nolai to come forward and lead us a special song. Help me believe in what I could be And all that I am So me the same I have to climb Lord for my sake Teach me to take one day at a time one day at a time, sweet Jesus, that's all I'm asking from you. Just give me the strength to do every day what I have to do. Yesterday's gone, sweet Jesus. And tomorrow may never be mine Lord, help me today 
show me the way one day at a time Do you remember when you woke up on Well, Jesus, you know, if you're looking below, it's worse now than death. Who's singing so And the crowd in my mind. Lord, for my sake, so teach me to take one day yet a time one day yet a time sweet jesus and tomorrow may never be of you just give me the strength to do every day what i have to do Yesterday's gone, sweet Jesus, and tomorrow may never be mine. Lord, tell me today, show me the way, one day at a time. Lord, tell me today, show me the way. One day at a time. Thank you. Let us all rise up and affirm our faith. We believe in a God who created us with purpose, who calls us to be the best versions of ourselves. We believe in Jesus Christ, who shows us the way of love and invite us to follow God with courage and humility. Born of Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead, and buried. He ascended into heaven and seated at the right hand of God Almighty. From here, he will come to judge the living and the dead. We believe in Holy Spirit, who empower us to grow and transform, guiding us to live life the reflect God's grace and truth. We believe in the power of forgiveness and renewal. And in the community of faith that supports us, carries us on our journey. Together, we affirm our faith to seek God's will, to embrace the challenges of God and sense, and to trust in God's promise to make all things new. Amen. Remain standing. Let us all sing the hymn. Sing them over and again to me. By singing the hymn, half a tree will be collected.
let us pray dear god we come before you with grateful heart we thank you for all the blessings you have given us we humbly pray that you will recognize and use us and these offerings for your glory all that is in the heavens and the earth is yours we take it from your hand and give it to you we dedicate these offerings to your service in jesus name we pray amen let's inter intercede with god let's pray for the country lord almighty we pray for our country and its people bless our land with safety stability and prosperity grant our citizens the courage and strength to our strength to pursue the best versions of themselves contributing positively to the society and uplifting those in need help us to overcome division and work together for the common good may our country be a beacon of hope and a model of integrity and kindness lord in your mercy let's pray for the leaders of our country heavenly god we pray for our leaders that they may govern with wisdom justice and compassion help them to make decisions that promote the well-being and prosperity of all citizens lord guide our country towards unity peace and respect of all people regardless of their differences may we strive to be the best versions of ourselves as a nation reflecting your love and righteousness in all that we do lord in your mercy let's pray for the sick we come before you today with a heart full and compassion and concern for our brothers and sisters who are suffering from illness we lift up you all those who are sick whether in physically mentally or spiritually grant them comfort in their pain strength in their weakness and peace in their anxiety surround them with your healing presence and let them feel your love and care lord in your mercy let's pray for your community gracious god we pray for our gurukul community principal teaching staffs working staffs and all their family members help us to support one another and foster an environment where everyone can thrive especially we pray for our bd uh, two friends who are in parangi petai protect them from illness and keep them safe from all harm and danger grant them wisdom and knowledge and guide them in fulfilling the purpose for which they have been sent may we be attentive to the needs of our neighbors offering assistance and encouragement inspire us to use our gifts and talents to serve others creating a community that reflects your grace and love empower each of us to be the best version of ourselves making a positive impact on those around us lord in your mercy closing prayer let's pray almighty god we thank you for this time we will spend in your presence today help us remember that you have given us more than we could have ever asked for or even imagine help us continuously turn our eyes to you in worship and adoration we commit this day into your hand knowing that you are with us every step of the way thank you for your love grace and faithfulness in jesus name we pray let's pronounce the lord's prayer our parent god let us receive the benediction May the grace of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ and the love of God and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit rest and abide with us now and forevermore. <laughs>
Lord be with you. And also be with you. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. In the name of Christ. Amen. May God bless you all. Amen.